All right, back live now at the uh, Michigan Central Station in Corktown. For decades, it stood as Detroit's largest symbol of blight. But that has been changing before our eyes since Ford Motor Company bought the historic landmark three years ago this month. It has come back to life with a number of special events before the pandemic. The automaker is also keeping the community in the loop as crews transform the old train depot into a new hub for mobility and Ford expects the restored Michigan Central Station to become a beacon for a brighter future for the city. I was enamored with this building for my whole life. I walked in and I was just in awe. On this day, Rich Bardelli welcomed me inside the building that many had given up as a lost cause due to decades of neglect, decay and vandalism. Three years into its restoration, scaffolding fills much of the building's ground floor, including the main waiting room with its incredible 65-foot tile vaulted ceilings. What that does is it allows us to get up at that height to fix those ceilings. We're about two-thirds of the way done fixing them. And then we'll be doing all the plaster work up there which we're probably about a third of the way done up there now. The ceiling in an arcade already provides a glimpse of what's to come. Well, you can already see, you know, I mean, before and after. And if we turn around and look back at this area way up here, this all just carries through here and is all getting redone. Ford Motor Company purchased historic Michigan Central Station from the Maroon family for $90 million in June of 2018 with plans to spend hundreds of millions more to turn it into a technology hub for electric and autonomous vehicles. We're at the point where we're putting it back together, which is the best part of the job. You're finally seeing all the work that we've been doing over the last couple years to get to this point, start to really see the transformation. Still, the roughly 400 workers a day in the building have plenty more to do before the job is complete. End of 22, beginning, you know, that first January, February 23, will the base construction will really be done. After that, another four to six months will be spent getting space ready for tenants, including retail shops, a restaurant, and residential units, or Bardelli says possibly a hotel within the building. A rail line remains out back, but the last train left the station in January 1988. Still, the building figures to once again become a destination, sparking new interest and investment in the Corktown neighborhood. We are getting historic tax credits for the building, so we're working closely with the State Historic Preservation Office, along with the National Park Service, to make sure that we're putting the building back in a way that is historically correct. As it sat vacant all those years, graffiti artists left their mark. Some of the interior walls still display the work. Bardelli tells me a few of the pieces will be preserved because it also tells a part of this building's incredible history. This will have to rank among career highlights for you, won't it? I feel very fortunate to be able to be part of this, and, and Dave, absolutely. You get once in a lifetime type of project to, to put together not just a hundred year old building, but for what it means to our community. And then what it means to Ford Motor Company and how it's going to take us into the future. Work in the building stopped completely for six weeks during the pandemic, but it resumed following all COVID protocols after that. And now it's full speed ahead here. Coming up a bit later, you'll meet one of the men working on this project. He's a graduate of the Fast Track program, which provides experience and opportunity for Detroiters looking for a career in the trades. That's just ahead, Carolyn. Cool to see all of the progress being made. Can't wait till it's finished. Thank you, Dave. Talk to you in a bit.